Hello students, welcome to AIMS India Online Classes. This is a chemistry session. Here we are discussing about the chapter water. It's too little to waste, isn't it? Yes. So in this session, we are going to see a practice sheet related to this chapter. In the earlier sessions, we have discussed many concepts about water, how it is available to us, how much amount of fresh water is available, how precious water is, how we should not waste the water, how to conserve the water. These are points we have learned in the earlier sessions. Now we are going to see a practice sheet related to this chapter. So in this practice sheet one, we are going to see conceptual understanding questions and single correct answer type questions. First, let us go through the conceptual understanding questions. See the first one. Which of the following is a drinking water source? We get water from different sources. Those we call water resources. So out of these, from where we can get drinking water, the water which can be uh, suitable for drinking. See sea water, glaciers, groundwater, and snow. If you observe out of these, the first one is sea water. Sea water we cannot drink. We know why because sea water contains excess amounts of salts dissolved in it and many other impurities also. So sea water cannot be consumed, <coughs> isn't it? Even at glaciers also. Glaciers also contain water but they contain water in the solid form. There we are not able to drink that. If you see snow, snow also one of the solid forms of water which we cannot consume, isn't it? So the major source for drinking water is groundwater. Groundwater we collect by different manners, by digging holes into the ground, isn't it? Like wells, bore wells, motor pumps, hand pumps, with these all, we collect groundwater and we use it for drinking. So this will be correct answer. Okay, next one. Which of the following causes depletion in water table of a place? What is meant by water table? We know when it rains, water will flow and reaches uh, through streams, oceans and rivers. But some of the water will seep into the soil. Uh, and it sinks into soil and reaches a rocky layer. It is uh, presented on the rocky layers there. The upper layers of the water present in the draw on the in the on the rocky layers is called water table. So why it is being depleted nowadays? What causes for the depletion of this water table? See here some uh, uh, activities are shown. First one is constructing factories making concrete roads on deforestation. This all will cause depletion in the water table because by the deforestation, water or rainwater cannot be stopped at a particular place. It will be flown off. If there are many trees, what happens then? They will stop that water and mean much amount of water will be seeped into the soil and hence water table will be increased. But because of deforestation, what happens? There are no trees to stop this water. So the water which seeps into the water, uh, soil will be decreased. In the same if you see, making concrete roads, this also will reduce the sinking of water into soil. Because if the uh, soil is completely covered with this uh, concrete roads, this won't allow the water to sink inside. Even constructing factories also. So as factories number increasing, they consume more and more water. Even by this activity also, water table will be depleted or the groundwater level will be decreased. So what will be correct us now? All of these. See the next one. What makes the earth appear blue from the outer space? Yes. We, I, I think you have seen some globes and maps. There mostly the earth will be seen blue color. Even if you go to the outer space in any rocket or jet plane, from there if it is absorbed, earth will be seen blue in color. 
This is because of the presence of water. We know our earth is almost uh, <coughs> three fourth is covered with uh, water, isn't it? That's why by the presence of this water, our earth appears blue in color when you see from outer space. Okay, because of the presence of water. Next one, what is the percentage of water in the human body? What is the percentage of uh, water in the human body? It is around 60%. Almost 60% of our human body is uh, filled with water. Because in almost all the parts of body, there is water. In the brain, muscles, nose, heart, in all organs, water is present. So if we compare this totally, around 60% of human body is uh, filled with water. Okay, next one. Why does ice float on water? Yes, if you take a big piece of ice, it will be very heavier, heavier when you take into hands. But the same ice cube or ice piece, if you throw into water, it starts floating. Have you ever observed it? Yes, this is because ice is lighter than water. That means we compare the substances based upon their densities, which is heavier, which is lighter. So out of this water and ice, ice is lighter in density than that of water. That is why when you throw ice into water, that will float, even though it has much heavier. If you see in the glacier is often in summer season, big rock like ice cubes uh, will be uh, broken from the mountains and will fall into the water there. So even though it is much bigger, it starts floating on the water because the density of ice is less than that of water. Okay, ice is lighter than water. Okay, next one. Which of the following statements is correct of the water table of a place? Say about water table, they are asking here. See which statements are correct about water table. It changes from place to place. Of course, it changes from time to time. Yeah, it is also correct because in wind, rainy season, more rain circles and hence more water seeps into the soil. So, water table will be <coughs> at, way, at low height, low depth, isn't it? If you take in summer season, what happens? There will be no rains and the consumption of water will be more. We collect uh, more groundwater. So, water table will be depleted. So, time also affects. It goes down when rains are less. This is also correct. If there are no much rains, what happens then? <coughs> Groundwater level decreases. So, all are correct here. Isn't it? Yes. Next one. Which property of water is used while washing clothes? Yes, what, what, these uh, clothes are washed with water regularly, isn't it? <coughs> the property used in this is um, solubility. Means, these all dirt particles or other impurities present in them on the clothes. When these clothes are uh, dipped into uh, water, soaked into water, these all impurities and dirt particles will dissolve into water. That is called solubility. So because of this solubility, we are able to separate or <coughs> separate these uh, dirt particles and impurities from the clothes. So the reason or the property used here it is solubility, solubility of water. Water can dissolve most of the substances into it. That property is used in washing clothes. Next, which of the following is not suitable, soluble in water? Of course, we told almost many of the substances, they dissolve into water. Water can dissolve many substances into it. That's why only water is specially called universal solvent. Have you heard about it ever? Yes, water is called universal solvent because it can dissolve almost all the substances except very few. Of course, some substances they dissolve very rapidly and very much extent, 
but some they dissolve very less extent but most of the substances they dissolve into water because of this reason water is called universal solvent but here they have again one substance which is not soluble into water find it which is that salt sugar oxygen sand out of these salt and sugar they fairly soluble they can dissolve much to much extent oxygen it is slightly soluble into water but sand sand is almost insoluble into water isn't it yes sand is insoluble into water remaining three are soluble but some are uh, they soluble into to higher extent and some are less soluble but they are soluble so the next one why is sea water unfit for use in factories through though it is available in plenty yes sea water is available in the plenty isn't it most of the water present in the seas itself around 97% of water is present in the oceans and seas so even though that much of water is available it is not suitable for using in factories agricultural and even for domestic purposes also why because yes what is the main reason for that it has salts which gets deposited in the pipelines and boilers they cannot use this salt water because sea water contains the salts dissolved in large extent if they use this water in the factories so these salts will be deposited in the pipelines and boilers and they block those they won't work for a long time that is why sea water is not used or indeed it is unfit for using in factories not only in factories it is also not suitable for using in agricultural purpose and even in domestic purposes also the main reason is they contain excess amounts of salts dissolved in them okay next what is water in which 2% or more salts are dissolved in it is called yes it is called mineral water even potable water also the water which we are drinking is called potable water isn't it it is also called mineral water if you go to a shop and if you ask for water they give a bottle on which it is written mineral water isn't it what does it mean hey mean, mean meant by here mineral water the water which contains sufficient amount of minerals or salts dissolved in it that is called mineral water we require around 2% of salts dissolved in pure water which is called mineral water we need to drink that water only we should not drink pure water pure water means the water which does not contain any other substances dissolved in it it contains only water molecules then that is called pure water or distilled water it is called it is actually not suitable for drinking because the water which we drink should contain small quantities of salts dissolved in it like sodium chloride and dissolved and also it should contain some dissolved gases in it like oxygen and carbon dioxide then only it is suitable for drinking that water which is suitable for drinking is called potable water or mineral water okay here how much means uh, around 2% of salts if you take uh, 1 liter of water should contain around 2 grams of salt dissolved in it like sodium chloride and some other salts okay then it is called mineral water or potable water <coughs> next what is the percentage of unutilized water due to lack of proper management proper management means conservation and excess use because of this all non proper managements of water we lose around 5% of water so 5% of unutilized water is there due to lack of proper management which of these is due to condensation what is meant by condensation the conversion of gaseous substance 
into liquid substance by cooling is called condensation. So, which of these processes is happening by condensation among these? So, drying of wet clothes. What happens in drying of wet clothes? Wet clothes they contain some water in them. When they are kept outside, slowly the water present in them converts into gases form and hence clothes will be dried. So, the process of conversion of liquid water into vapor is called evaporation, not condensation. So, here the process involved is evaporation. See the next one water drops appear on cool water bottle. Yes, this is because of condensation. When you take a water bottle, uh, when you take out one water bottle from the refrigerator, which contains very chilled water. Now, if you keep this water bottle out uh, on a table for a few minutes, then we can observe droplets of water on the sur outer surface of that water bottle. Have you ever observed this? Yes, we can. If you take a cool water, or uh, if you take a glass of cool water or ice cubes in a glass, if you keep it on the table for a few minutes without disturbing it, if you observe after a few minutes, we can observe water droplets on the outer surface of the glass or water bottle. This is because of the condensation of water vapor present in the atmosphere. So, the water vapor present in the atmosphere, when it touches the cooler parts of this water bottle or glass, it converts into liquid water. So, that liquid water forms small droplets on the outer surface of the glass or bottle. That is because of the condensation of water vapor present in the atmospheric air. So, this is correct. What about the next one given? Steam rises from wet cloths. So, steam means water vapor. So, wet cloths contain water, liquid water that converts into steam. Conversion of liquid into vapor is called evaporation or boiling. Here they are asking, they are telling as steam. Means when it is heated. So, when it is heated, liquid converts into gas by the process called boiling. So, it is also not correct. In this boiling process involved. What about this? Blackboard dries up after wiping it. So, when you wipe a blackboard, after a few minutes, it will be dried off. That is because of the evaporation of water. So, condensation process is involved only in this water droplets appearing on the cool water bottle or a cool water glass. Okay. Condensation is involved in that. Next one. Next, let us say about a single correct answer type questions. See the first one. Water is, <coughs> what is water that is available under the ground? Yes, the water which is available under the ground is called groundwater or water table. Okay, next one. About what percentage of air surface is covered with uh, water? Is on the uh, earth around 70% of the earth surface. Around 71% of the earth surface uh, is covered with water. That is why we told when you see earth from the outer space, it appears blue. Because most of the space on the earth is covered with water in the form of oceans and rivers. Okay, next. Which of the following is the purest form of fresh water? Fresh water or pure water is uh, the water which contains no other impurities in it. It contains only water molecules. That is called purest form of water or fresh water. That is rain water. Because from the atmosphere, water is evaporated and it converts into clouds. Then, in the evaporation process, pure water will go out from the water bodies. No other impurities will go along with that. And converts into clouds. Again, on condensation and precipitation, it forms rains. Then, pure water will come from, this, uh, from the atmosphere to the earth. That is, rain water. Now, you can say rain water is one of the purest forms of water. Of course, it may dissolve some impurities while coming down to the earth. But it, when it rains, at the starting of this precipitation, rain water will be purest form. It contains only water in it. Okay. Next, what happens 
to water table if a large area is covered with uh, construction activities yes if large area is covered with uh, construction activities like constructing buildings constructing concrete roads uh these all come under construction activities what happens with this all most of the earth will be covered with uh, this concrete surface so this concrete surface will not allow water to seep inside then if there is no water to seep inside what happens there the water level goes to deep and deep into the earth that we say water table will be reduced it becomes less water table becomes less because of the construction of these all concrete roads so that water won't be seeped inside and hence water table becomes less okay next next question see here what happens to plants in areas of scanty rainfall so if there is scanty rainfall means very less quantity of rainfall if it is there what happens to the plants then they grow extensively they move to another place they have active growth or they wilt and die what happens to the plants if there is no rain yes plants will wilt and die they will die eventually because of the lack of water that's why these deserts uh, we see so in deserts we know there will be no rain or there will be very less amount of rainfall because of that no plants will grow in that area even though there are plants they will turn die continue eventually okay next one in which of the following seasons will water consumption by all living beings is being more that means when do we consume more water in which season in winter autumn summer or rainy season when do we take more water yes in summer season in summer more water we consume because in summer temperature is very high more water will go out from our bodies in the form of sweat and this all that's why we need to take more water we consume more water not only human beings remaining living things also in the same way okay next one which power is generated from water yes even from water also electricity power is generated electric power is generated that electric power generated from water is called hydro electric power hydra means water here so the electric power which is generated from water is called hydro electric power okay <clears throat> next which of the following if used regularly can kill germs in overhead storage tanks in our houses so for killing germs and other bacteria present in the water in our overhead tanks in our villages and towns what do they use for killing these uh, germs and bacteria present in the water what do they use generally bleaching powder or chlorine tablets they use for killing this bacteria okay even this bleaching powder also will release some chlorine glass into the water which kills the bacteria and the germs okay directly is often they use uh, chlorine tablets also next why is water called universal solvent why water is called universal solvent we told earlier water can dissolve many substances into it almost all the substances they dissolve into water uh, except very few of course some substances they dissolve to a large extent but some they dissolve very less extent but many of the substances they dissolve into water that is why water is called universal solvent see in the given options here it is suitable for this answer water can dissolve 90% of the substances around 90% of the substances available will dissolve into water to some extent that's why water is called universal solvent next which of the following maintains balance of water on the earth yes even though we are using continuously water for our purposes 
in different manners for agricultural for factories for consumption for remaining works we are using continuously water but it is maintained still water so which maintains this balance of water that is water cycle isn't it what is water cycle the process of conversion of water from one form to another form by the action of nature on it is called water cycle because of water cycle we it is able to maintain balance of water right next question which of the following methods can be used to control water pollution how can we control water pollution see here avoiding the use of chemical substances freely yes if you reduce the usage of chemical substances we can reduce water pollution it's correct only next educating society about the dangers of water pollution yeah it is also correct if you educate people what happens they will control they will try to reduce the pollution using biological control in agriculture areas instead of using pesticides this also reduces water pollution what's happening nowadays people they are using large quantities of pesticides instead of uh, pesticides if you use uh, uh, bi <coughs> biological control then also we can control this uh, pollution of water so these three are correct methods for controlling pollution of water so what will be correct as now d see the next one which of these can raise the water table of a place so that is means uh, ground water level which can increase the ground water level here rainfall digging bores digging wells sea water which can increase the water table of a particular place rainfall if it rains more more water seeps into the soil and hence water table or ground water level increases see the next which of the following is a correct sequence of the water cycle in the nature so what is water cycle we told the process of conversion of one form of water into another form continuously by the action of nature is called water cycle there water from the water bodies evaporates and because of sunlight and then this water vapor evaporated converts into clouds because of condensation these clouds converts into rain again by the precipitation again this rain water reaches us uh, these water bodies like oceans and rivers again it starts converting again evaporation so what is a sequence here correct sequence for this first water evaporates then condensation and next to precipitation here it is mentioned see here it is isn't it what evaporates from the water bodies and this water vapor converts into clouds because of condensation these clouds starts converting into rain because of precipitation there is a sequence of process in water cycle okay that's about level 1 practice sheet thank you for watching our video please subscribe our youtube channel aims today and visit our website aimstoday.in for latest updates and recorded videos